Cost something no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally seeing money now. What's up everybody, Kevin Van Voorhis here for another video for you guys. So, let me clean off my glasses real quick, and then we're going to get today's video started. But first, let's put our seatbelt on, so none of you guys troll me about my seatbelt, and I'm not going to be using my phone today either. So, good job, Kev. So, let's get this started. So, title of the video, Charger Demon. Just saw this picture on Instagram. Uh, shout out to Sinister Z07. If you don't know who that is on Instagram, you need to be following him. Uh, he's probably the oldest uh, Hellcat owner on Instagram. I think he was one of the first ones, or at least like one of the very popular ones. So he posted this picture, which I'll link right now. So he posted that picture, it's all over Instagram right now. I figured I'd do a video about it. So of course, we've got the Challenger Demon, which is gonna be released on Tuesday, which I will be going to the event. So shout out to Dodge for inviting me to the event. And uh, I'll be seeing some of you guys uh, who follow me on YouTube and then who also follow me on Instagram there. But uh, there was a picture posted today by Sinister Z07 of what looks to be like a charger demon. So I'm very um, interested to know if this is a real picture. Uh, there have been people talking about, you know, how Dodge should do a charger demon and they would buy it. Um, so I'm very curious to see if this is actually gonna be something that's actually real. Um, I don't really know as far as the picture. I mean, the picture looks real to me, so I don't know as you can tell it's got the same setup as the challenger demon with the extremely wide tires so um, we can assume those are gonna be the exact same tires that are on the demon so it looks like a 315 uh, I'm assuming it's gonna have the 18 inch rims so because they're gonna be the custom tires uh, made just specifically for uh, the demon which are drag radials from the factory so with that being said if they come out with a Charger Demon, I don't even know what to say. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know. Dodge is... I don't know if Dodge has lost their minds or what, but if you are into high horsepower cars, the time to buy them is now. I mean, you've got Chevy putting out... They just put out the ZL1, which, I mean, it looks really good. I talk shit on the Hennessy version because I'm not going to pay 55 grand to fix up a Camaro. Uh, nor would I put 55 grand into my Hellcat, but um, Chevy's coming out with some good stuff. Ford, obviously, um, is still coming out with some awesome stuff. Uh, they've got the new 10-speed transmission with Chevy, which is in the Ford Raptor and then also in the uh, Camaro. And then you've got Dodge, who obviously just doesn't give a shit about anything. They're coming out with... Uh, you know, they kind of broke the curve with coming out the Hellcats. And then now they've got the Demon coming out, uh, which the video just released today. So there is a race gas button, which the PCM is going to be tuned for 100 octane uh, gas uh, or race fuel, excuse me. So there's one more video being released tomorrow. I don't know what that's going to be. And then um, I guess we're going to find out what the horsepower is. So let's just call it. 850 to 900 horsepower some people might think I'm crazy because that's how much I think it is but I think that's how much they're gonna have to put out I mean if you're gonna do all this work right all this marketing and all this stuff to only go up you know there's been talks about going to 757 to really go up only 50 horsepower to do all this marketing campaign and everything I just I can't see it so I'm assuming it's gonna be more towards the 850 to 900 horsepower mark um, really throwing like some shade at Mustang and Chevy as being like, well, time to step your guys' game up. So obviously the Demon is meant for a straight line. It's not gonna be like the ZL1 where it can go around a track and all that stuff. That's not what it's built for. So with the Charger, the only thing that I would be confused about is why would they do it? You know, it's a four-door car. It's not, 
you know, there are people who drag race these things a lot, but why would you make it a demon? You know, are you gonna put the same exact horsepower? This is my thinking, and you guys can call me crazy, you can call whatever you want. The Jeep Trackhawk, aka the Jeep Hellcat, is being released next week at the New York Auto Show at the Jeep booth. I think it's gonna be released on either the 13th or 14th, I believe. I could be wrong. But it's gonna be released sometime towards the end of next week of April. Uh, next week of April 13th, 14th, maybe even 15th. But anyway, it's gonna be at the New York Auto Show. This is my thinking. Since now that we know the Jeep Trackhawk exists, it's gonna be 700 to 750 horsepower is what I've uh, been hearing on the forums. And if you follow the Jeep guy on Instagram, he's always posting stuff because he has an inside guy who kind of works uh, at FCA. My thinking is they're gonna put an all-wheel drive version uh, with a wide body on this. I don't think they're gonna make it a demon. I just, I can't see it. I, I really, I don't know. I don't see the point in it. I mean, it's a four-door vehicle. The thing with the demon is it's a one-seater vehicle with an optional passenger uh, seat. So what would be the point of having a four-door car when basically the rest of the car is useless? You know what I mean? So I don't, I don't think they're gonna make a demon out of it. However, I do think it's gonna be an all-wheel drive system based off the Jeep Trackhawk. I can see that more than anything else. I mean, if they can make the Charger uh, Hellcat wide-bodied, which would be fucking awesome, come with drag radials on all four wheels, make it all-wheel drive, because the we know now that the system that they're using for the Jeep Trackhawk, it can handle the power. So why not put that in a charger where they already have, you know, they sell an all-wheel drive charger. So why not take the exact same technology and put it in this with the Hellcat engine, all-wheel drive, you know, 700, 750 horsepower. That would be fucking legit. And that would be, I mean, what a time to be alive. Are you kidding me? Like, all these crazy ass cars coming out it's I think it's fucking awesome I <laughs> it's like man if I'm gonna buy a car in a year you know do I go with the demon do I go with the Jeep Trackhawk now if they're gonna have a wide body maybe possibly all-wheel drive or demon charger what, what do you get now you know it's it's crazy you know I didn't think that they would ever build a wide body charger but a wide body charger would be awesome just because the lines on the charger I think are a little better as far as being able to do wide body stuff uh, than the Challenger in my opinion that's just my own opinion but um, I just want to make a quick video today I want to say shout out to all my new uh, followers on YouTube and Instagram and snapchat I appreciate you guys following me uh, make sure you guys follow me though at Cali boy Kev I will be at the Demon event on Tuesday with SRT Mush, uh, Muscle vs. Tuner, RP Productions, um, and lots of other people on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me so you can guys get the inside scoop before the Demon is released. Uh, I will have my camera. I will have my phone. And, uh, yeah. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So what do you think it's going to be? Is it going to be an all-wheel drive charger that's wide body? you think they're going to do a Demon version of the charger? I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments below. And uh, make sure you guys are following me. Thank you guys for subscribing. My name is Kevin Van Voris, and I'm out.